Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about Salesforce checkbox validation rule and we are going to discuss this topic in both the edition in Salesforce Lightning as well as Classic. So before that, here we would like to inform you that we have recently launched a Salesforce course specially for a Salesforce administrator and even if you are a beginner, then you will easily understand the topic and the content of the course. Here also a limited time offer of 50% discount of early birds and you will get the lifetime access of the course and you can buy this course through the link that we are mentioned in the description box. This Salesforce admin course is from the beginner to advanced level and also have 9 plus modules with the HD videos and we also provide a course material like PDF and solution and the one to one doubt clear session and also provide the certification of completion and give internship and placement opportunities. So you can subscribe this course and learn a lot about the Salesforce administrator part. So let's move to our topic. This is my Salesforce Lightning work and here we are going to learn how to add validation rule in checkbox field. So for this, we firstly click on the gear icon and then click on the setup option. And then select the object manager tab. Our object manager page is open. Now we enter the opportunity in the search box and then uh, select the opportunity object our opportunity page is open here we can see on the left side there is a detail section present and we scroll to the bottom of this detail section here we can see there is a validation rule option present click on this validation rule our validation rule page is open here we can see lots of validation rule is already created but we want to create the new validation rule so we click on the new button our opportunity validation rule page is open. Now we enter the information related to the validation rule. First enter the rule name. Here we are entering the rule name as mandatory field is must own. And then click on the active checkbox and then scroll to the bottom. Here is the error condition formula section. Now we enter the formula inside this section. And firstly, we select the function and we select the is blank function and then insert the field which we want. The field is not blank and here we are selecting the close date field and then we select the note function and we put this is blank function inside this not function and uh, then we apply the and operator and then select the mandatory field which is not equal to the false and after entering the whole formula we are check the syntax error so we click on the check syntax and here we go we can see there is a no error found and then we scroll to the bottom and here we go we can see error message section is present where we can enter the error and here we are entering the error as a the mandatory field should be checked and inside the error message field we can enter the error message as the mandatory field should be checked and after that we select the error location and here we click on the field checkbox and then we select the field and here we are selecting the field as a mandatory and then hit the save button and here we go we can see our opportunity validation rule detail is created successfully and here we can see the rule name mandatory field is must own and then we can see the error condition formula that is if not is blank close date and mandatory field is not equal to false and then we can see the error message the mandatory field must be checked from here we can add it and clone the validation rule and then click on the app launcher now enter the opportunity in the search box and select the opportunities. Here we go, we can see our opportunity record page is open. Now we create the new record, so we click on the new button. 
Our new opportunity dialog box is open. Now enter the opportunity name and here we are entering the opportunity name as mandatory event and then enter the amount and then select the close date because our close date field is not blank. If we leave this field blank then the error will be occur. So select the date and then select the type select the stage here we uncheck this mandatory field and uh, here we don't check this mandatory field and we hit the save button when we hitting the save button we can see our error message will occur the mandatory field should be checked this show that uh, on the mandatory field the validation rule is applied and the validation error is shown inside this field so please check this mandatory field and hit the save button now we can see that our mandatory event was created successfully now move ahead and discuss about checkbox validation rule in salesforce classic version so for this firstly click on the profile picture and then select the switch to salesforce classic option our classic version is open now Click on the drop down arrow and click on the setup option. Now enter the opportunity in the quick find box and click on the drop down arrow of the opportunity. Under the opportunity list, we can see there is a validation rule option present. Click on this option and our opportunity validation rule page is open. And under this page, we can see already created validation rule, but we want to create the new validation rule. So we click on the new button. Now we enter the detail related to the validation rule. First fill the rule name and we enter the rule name as key opportunity field is must check. Now check the active checkbox and then scroll to the bottom. There is an error condition formula section. Inside this section we enter the formula. Here we first select the add operator and then insert the field that we want. The field is not blank here. And here we are selecting the key opportunity is equal to my true. And then we select the function. On the right side, there are all function. And inside this function, we select one of the function. And here we select the is blank function. Then insert the field that we want. And here we are inserting the estimated close date field. The key opportunity is equal to true checks if the key opportunity checkbox is checked is blank estimated close date checks if the estimated close date field is blank or not the validation rule uses the and function to combine the two conditions if both conditions are met the key opportunity checkbox is checked but the estimated close date field is blank if the user want to save the record, the validation rule will trigger and the user will not be able to save the opportunity record till the criteria are met. After entering the whole criteria, we check the syntax. So we hit the check syntax button and here we go. We can see no error found. Now scroll to the bottom. And here we can see there is an error message section. Inside this, we enter the error message. The key opportunity is checked and the estimated close date must be populated. And then we select the error location. We click on the field and then select the error location as the estimated close date. And then hit the save button. Our validation rule key opportunity field must check is created successfully. And here we can add it and close clone this validation rule by simply clicking on the add it and clone button. Now we click on the opportunities. Our opportunity record page is open. Now we select the new button for creating the new record. And our opportun new opportunity page is open. Now enter the opportunity name. And here we are entering the opportunity name as a key opportunity deal. And then fill the type, amount, close date, stage and the lead source. Here we check the key opportunity checkbox but we did not fill the estimated close date. 
save this report. After hitting the save button, we, we can see there is an error occur. The key opportunity is checked and the estimated close date must be populated. So this cannot match the uh, criteria. So we must enter the estimated close date. After entering the estimated close date and hit the save button, we can see our key opportunity deal is saved successfully. So this show that the validation rule is successfully applied on the key opportunity and the estimated close date failed. So with this, we have learned how to add validation rule for a checkbox field in Salesforce Lightning as well as Classic. So if this video was helpful, click on the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching. Have a great day.